It's been four months since the release of the first wave of Hasbro's Beyblade X, and while Wave 2 is still yet to release worldwide, considering Wave 3 has already been seen, I think it's time to rank each Wave 2 Beyblade X release. I don't own any Wave 2 products myself, but since they are all just TT Bays, we can rank them based on TT counterparts. These rankings are based on my opinions and what the competitive meta includes. Starting with the first single pack, we have Savage Bear. Savage Bear was a Hasbro original Beyblade based on Rhino Horn. Savage Bear modifies the Rhino Horn blade to be more aggressive, which is a good thing as Rhino Horn would be used for attack combos. However, the blade is super light and burst prone due to its size being smaller than the average X Beyblade, so it's not really preferred in battle. The Ratchet is 360. To go through the ratchets any 60 height ratchet that's 3, 5, or 9 sides is preferred in battle due to low height and good stamina and burst resistance. Any 80 ratchet is just okay to use, but not used much competitively due to the preference of lower height. The bit released is spike, spike is a defense bit with a small sharp tip. Competitively it's not used as defense type combos are not great for Beyblade X and Spike is one of the worst defense bits you could choose from and ideally Needle or High Needle would be used. So my final ranking for this Beyblade is at a skip. The next single is Roar Tyranno. This is another Hasbro original Beyblade based on Phoenix Wing. This is already a good sign as Phoenix Wing is a top tier attack type Beyblade and in my opinion the best attack type to use in Hasbro. The blade modifies the shape to be more chunky, while still keeping the aggressive shape, the weight is also very good as it's pretty heavy averaging around 36 grams. So far it's looking really good as the blade is very good for attack. The ratchet is 960, a very good ratchet often used in attack combos due to it being very hard to burst. One thing to note is that this is the cheapest way to obtain this ratchet other than buying the Phoenix Wing Deluxe Starter. The bit is gear flat which is a decent bit to use as the extended gears provide a better grip on the X-line, but at times can be hard to control, which is why most bladers prefer flat or rush. Overall this Beyblade is a very good option for attack combos due to the heavy blade in 960 Ratchet, which is why I believe this Beyblade should be a must buy for any blader. The next single is the first non-Hasbro original in this video and that is Sting Unicorn. The Sting Unicorn Blade is a balance type with the gimmick of being half smooth and half jaggy. This allowed Unicorn Sting to be a very good performing balance type as bladers can create a stamina-based combo while still getting some attack power. The Ratchet is 560, which is one of my favorite ratchets to use for stamina combos due to the round shape. This is also the cheapest way to obtain this ratchet. The bit is Gear Point, another gear-based bit. This bit is pretty solid as it has good stamina and attack power. Gear Point is also the only gear based bit that had lots of use competitively. My final ranking for this Beyblade is a high priority, as I do believe it's a very good Beyblade, I just don't think it's as necessary as other bays. The final single is a recolor of a previous Beyblade and that is the Yellow Scythe Incendio. This yellow recolor comes with the 380 ratchet and ball bit. The balance type Beyblade Scythe Incendio is amazing for stamina combos due to its round but aggressive shape, even more so than Unicorn Sting in my opinion. The Ratchet is 380, which is not bad, but the bit is Ball which is the best stamina bit as of now. If you remember my last video I ranked Talon Terra as a must-have purely of the Ball bit, this combo is essentially a better version of Talon Terra, which is why this release is a must-have for competitive. Onto the two packs, the first one I will discuss is Bite Croc and Sting Unicorn. As discussed before Sting Unicorn is a very solid blade although this recolor looks kinda weird, it's a very good inclusion. The Ratchet is 480, which is not great as it's the most burst prone ratchet due to the blocky contacts plus the 80 height. However one major W is the point bit. The point bit is an amazing balance type bit as it has high stamina while being aggressive based on the way you launch the bit. Preferably point is used on heavy blades like Phoenix Wing or the future release of Wizard Rod. Bite Croc is a Hasbro original Beyblade based on Keel Shark. 
Heel Shark was a very good blade to use because of its upper attack. Bite Croc focuses less on the upper but more on the smash attack, but it's still decent for an attack type blade. The Ratchet and Bit is the same as Keel Shark being 360 low flat, which is a very good combo for attack types as the low flat bit allows very fast movement while attacking the Beyblade from below. My final ranking for this is a must have due to the point bit, 360 ratchet, low flat bit, unicorn sting blade, and bite croc blade making this two pack very valuable. This next two pack comes with Gale Wyvern and Tail Viper. Wyvern Gale is a stamina type blade originally released in a random booster, so this two pack is a much cheaper alternative to get this blade. The blade itself is pretty decent for stamina comparable to Arrow Wizard although it had potential to be top tier. For stamina combos I prefer to use Scythe Incendio over both Arrow Wizard and Gale Wyvern, but if you're a collector like me this 2-pack would be good for you. The Ratchet is 580, a pretty good ratchet for stamina and the bit is Gearball, a geared version of the ball bit. The geared gimmicks don't really work well for low resistance bits like ball as when engaging with the extreme line the extra grip makes the combo more burst prone. The next bay is Tail Viper, this blade is mostly used for attack combos due to the low hanging points. This blade in my opinion is not anything amazing and not a blade I would use, the ratchet is 380 and the bit is High Needle. Now High Needle is probably my favorite defense bit as it does have good stamina compared to other defense bits. Overall competitively this 2 pack is a low priority as it's only really good for collectors. The final two pack is Yell Kong and Helm Knight. Yell Kong is another Hasbro original blade based on Wyvern Gale, as mentioned before Wyvern Gale is decent for pure stamina. But Yell Kong is essentially a worse version and since it's also lightweight the blade is quite clapped. The Ratchet is 360 and the bit is Gearball, which are all parts discussed before. The other included is a purple Helm Knight with 580 taper. Helm Knight is a very solid defense blade that can also be used for counter-attack due to its off-balanced weight. The Ratchet 580 is also fitting for this blade as it's round and heavy matching the style of Helm Knight. The bit is Taper, which is a very good attack bit as it has good stamina and life after death compared to pure attack bits. Yell Kong is pretty disappointing, but Helm Knight is very solid and overall this 2-pack is low priority for competition as there are better ways to obtain these parts. Now we are onto the starters and for this wave there were only two. The first is Lance Knight, another version of the Knight Beyblade. The Lance Knight Blade is very underwhelming as it does have potential for smash attack, but is outclassed. The Ratchet is 480, as meme type before this Ratchet is not ideal for competitive combos. The bit is high needle, which is solid for defense, but overall this starter is an easy skip. The final starter is Claw Leon. This balance type Beyblade has the gimmick of upper claws and based on the way you launch, Claw Leon could be aggressive or defensive. The blade itself is not used much in competition as it's fairly light and outclassed. However the ratchet and bit make up for the blade as 560 point is commonly used together in many combos. The Ratchet has very good weight distribution and burst resistance, and Point is amazing for attack type Beyblades. This starter is very solid competitively and I rank it as a high priority, the only reason it's not a must have is because I feel like it's better to buy the Bite Croc 2 pack for Point and spend a little more on Roar Tyranno for 960. That's all I have for this video, it would be appreciated to like and subscribe as I hope to reach 5k subs by the end of the year. I also have membership options for more support and I will see you all next time.